fucking go! Let's fucking go. Uh, was there ever a discussion about actually showing the X-Men dying in Wolverine's home dimension? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, yep. Uh, we talked about it. We ended up doing it with a soundscape and with sound design. We did talk about it, but ultimately it felt like the specifics of those characters' deaths don't matter to this story as much as the way they haunt Logan. And so we chose yeah. to keep the focus on him. Yeah, it's a little bit what you don't see is more, I think, more haunting than what you do see. I think I think it would sort of, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Sean and I felt, felt like it would cheapen it if you're seeing, you know, all these people, these kids, these grownups. And then, you know, really the biggest win, I think, for us with the Wolverine character was, was two things. I mean, everybody thinks it places a lot of emphasis on the suit. Now, I love that we kind of use the suit as a hair shirt, you know, as a kind of penance that he's wearing this thing that is like a you know, a punishment that covers his body, you know? And I, I I think there's something really, really powerful about that, the way somebody mourns in black or, you know, um, that is such an expression of mourning and sadness. So so for him to have that for us was was a huge win. Um, and probably the first thing we said to Hugh uh, when he said, I'm in, I was like, you got to wear this suit, um, right? And he was like in right, right away. But then the other one was like really kind of scratching that itch of Wolverine, you know, like the idea that the berserker rage takes over, he kills and he he's he can be to a certain degree indiscriminate, indiscriminate about that killing. And that is a big part of the shame. And that's a secret that we kind of slowly un, uh, unravel uh, through Cassandra Nova, who's, you know, roaming around in his head. And we sort of feel that that power, because Deadpool and Wolverine, the thing they have most in common is shame. They both have an enormous amount of shame. And I think men and women deal with shame differently. Men deal with shame poorly. Women can deal with shame um, in a much more actualized way. I, I think that's just my, fair not to get into gender specifics, but I, the, 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 these two guys, both Deadpool deflects it with, you know, humor and sexual tension in his own, you know, squirrely half, uh, half a brain head of his. And then Wolverine, of course, is uh, aggression and, you know, and, and, and violence. So, so touching on some of that berserker rage, which is genuinely in the canon of Wolverine and the comics and, and, and getting to sort of acknowledge that he didn't just kill the bad people when he lost it, you know, is a, I think pretty damn powerful and not necessarily something we want to see. We want to feel it. Yeah. You know?